friends welcome to another challenge here and this challenge says um, write a program that meets the following requirements create an array with a handy randomly chosen integers from the user to enter the index of, uh, of the array then display the corresponding element value if the specified index is out of bounds display the message out of bounds and here we are dealing with array index out of bounds exception so I'm going to show you how to deal with uh, this exception so let's jump into it and here I've prepared uh, prepared the um, I've prepared the uh, main method so you have to write the main method and um, I'm going to create the array array as we read from this question that we have to create the array create the array of 100 randoms uh, randomly chosen integer and I'm going to put this array like give it a uh, variable name data and then I'm going to create new int it's array object within the array I'm going to add a hundred spaces you see and then I'm going to have for loop and within the for loop I'm going to have int we initialize is equal to zero and um, I less than 100 and then we increment I by one okay then I'm going to go I mean to assign the that array is equal to I need to I guess, uh, generate the random numbers according to our question it says that um, randomly chosen integers so we need to um, create the random random numbers but we have to uh, uh, to typecast the the random numbers to integer because we are dealing with only integer here so I'm going to say is equal to int and this is how you typecast int and I'm going to create uh, to call the math class dot random method and then I'm going to uh, because I'm creating I can just do whatever I can just uh, here maybe 10,000 then I did D uh, and then here we have a problem here because uh, this has to be on yeah so now I think everything is okay it's clear and um, we need a scanner input is equal to scanner yes and then when we have scanner we may ask the user to type something I ask the user to enter index because that's the question say says that display corresponding value if they specify the index is out of bound then yeah so when they enter the index if it's not within a hundred then the program should uh, message out of bounds and that's this uh, array index out of bounds exception that's what you use for to handle those kind of exception so now for you to get the input from the keyboard you need uh, we need index index which is integer is equal to input input object that we have dot what dot next okay now we have uh, we have our integer but we not we need to try now I'm going to handle the exception so I'm going to try and say try and here I'm going to say system dot out dot print line and I want to pass
first the uh, uh, stream builder new stream builder class and within I'm going to write an array I mean string which is the element is and then I'll append plus within here element dot append and I'm going to append um, the index which is this one there and then we pass the index here on array then here and then here I'm going to catch the exception catch the exception and then I'm going to say exception I'm going to give a variable exception and here I'm going to create a mess message I'm going to say maybe system dot out dot print line and here the message is gonna be um, index index out of out of bound and then I can concatenate plus ex get the message because I get, get get the message or I can say convert to string okay let's see here we have a problem because I have this method and it's giving me error see already declare parameter is not never used actually this is the first time I'm seeing this kind of problem let's see I don't know what I did then let's put this one here okay now it's, it's fine it's working and then let's try to run this program enter the index Maybe one. So we get index one, this one. But if you want to see all these index, you can just put this. Let's say we can uh, loop and just print everything. String dot out dot dot print print line. And let's try to print again. So we print everything 100. They're all index, I mean, from uh, 0 to 100. And then whenever I type here, let's say 1, so it's going to show me 620. And if you check from the index, from this uh, index, we see it's here because I already start with 0. And because this randomly uh, generated, if I run again and put 1. Or zero, so we expect to have this 9981, which is the same as 9981 here. But now the idea here is that we want to ha we have handled the uh, this um, our index out of bound, which means if you type anything more than 100, we are going to fall into this exception. So I'm gonna try that one also, and let's put. Uh, let's put 100 and 101 or two okay and then enter so you see index out of bound and we get the message here index out of bound exception and it is this one here message you can have a lot of you can even get the message and see what to happen get a message and run again and then we need interested with exception so we put 500 so index out of bound so you don't you just receive the message and that's it but the get string it show you what kind of exception because we are using this exception as a main class so if you use this it just show you a nice message so 